Hey guys, what is going on? Landon here from Noteworthy Games, and today I'm really excited to bring you guys a super highly requested video. This is the subscriber base review video. Okay, so I'm here with Cerna. Hey guys, what's up? Cerna here from Noteworthy Games. Uh, we have an awesome subscriber base review series going on for you guys right now. Uh, as you guys know, we also have Facebooks and Twitters, and that's the only way we're going to be accepting your guys' bases. You can post them on Facebook, post a picture on Facebook, super easy. Uh, follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook to uh, engage yourself in the social media networks. And uh, we have links down in the description, so message us on Twitter, uh, post on Facebook, do all that stuff. Um, that's how we're actually going to be getting the uh, subscriber base reviews going. We're going to get your pictures from there, and we're just going to make videos about them, giving you guys tips and tricks about what to do about your bases. So I got that out of the way, and before we start, i, I got to mention one other thing really quickly. We got a new background on the channel, on our Twitter, on our Facebook, on everything. Uh, we, I, it's just amazing. This guy, his name is Drone Concepts. He made this whole entire shebang for us and all that stuff. Um, all the new channel art and stuff. It's amazing, guys. So go check out his channel in the description. He does some awesome stuff. He has, takes requests for Clash of Clans stuff. He loves Clash of Clans. He plays it also. So if you guys want anything, message Drone down below. And um, he's a great guy. So he makes a lot of cool stuff. Anyways. We are going to get into the subscriber base review without any further ado, so let's go. Boom, boom, boom. Okay, so today's subscriber base review is mainly going to consist of only Town Hall 8 bases, more for the fact because throughout the series we're going to be doing whole different bases. We're going to be doing uh, Town Hall 7s, Town Hall 6s, Town Hall 5s, everything like that. So in one video, we're only going to cover one set of Town Hall town Halls, like today we're going to be doing Town Hall 8, so um, obviously... We're going to grab all those again from the Facebook page and the Twitter pages, so make sure to post all your stuff on there because we're going to be grabbing them from there and we're going to be uh, making videos on them. So, Landon, this is the first base right here. Do you yeah, want to just let This guy, Bake619. So the main problems I have with this base are your defenses are a little, they're not as upgraded as they should be, especially your splash defenses like your wizard towers. So definitely focus on upgrading those. And there's just an archer tower down here just like doing nothing. You're definitely going to want to switch that in with maybe one of the resource collectors. There's no reason why they should be in and the Archer Tower should be out. Is there any guy anything, Dad? Um, for sure, all the obstacles on the outside, it's a really, it's not really a base situation here, but it's obviously good to get rid of all these obstacles. It gives you free gems, basically, and again, it makes it a lot more cleaner. That's my suggestion, and obviously, um, when you're done with that Wizard Tower up there, you got to find some And also, I I definitely upgrade some of your air defenses because they do look a little weak. If I was going to invade this base, I would just take out the three air defenses and just drop some dragons or balloons. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. The air defenses are really, really exposed, so this is an easy base to just annihilate really quickly. For sure, when you move that wizard tower, take the uh, the spell factory out, put it outside, and put the wizard tower in a place of it, because that's going to be a great place for it, obviously. Yeah, I, I switch my air defense with one of the collectors as well, so it's still a little bit more protected. Yeah, yeah. Um, when you move the wizard, you, you obviously have to move that spell factory outside, but when you move the wizard tower inside there, um, you might have to reposition a few things to make because the radiuses of each wizard tower, you want to make it so that they're equally uh, positioned so they don't overlap really. I mean, you can make it overlap, but you want it to uh, encompass a certain radius um, along, a you know, along the perimeter of the base. So when the things attack, you just don't have everything going at it. You want to have it equally spread out. So obviously you're going to have to uh, reposition the two wizard towers and uh, put them in different places. Yeah, for sure. And I have one more problem with this base. For a few places, like you're here and right at the middle right there, you have stacked walls. But with this new wall breaker AI, I know most of you guys know, stacked walls do nothing now. Just the wall breakers can just come through and just destroy them all. So those are kind of wasted walls a little bit, but I do like your little trap circle. That's kind of, that's pretty effective. But I, you could definitely use this walls to make another little area for archer tower or for something useful. So I, I'd probably change some points. Yeah, so, that. yeah, like the trap, like as Lennon was mentioning, the traps, the traps are cool. But it, how you did it in the circle like that. But again, they're not really effective in the middle. I wouldn't say. I mean, they're kind of effective, but not as effective if you were to put them on the outside. You see where you put the torches? I would put them right there on the torches, like in front of them. That's probably going to be the most effective place. People are going to put giants. They're going to put a bunch of stuff in that front area. Mostly, um, when I look at my base individually, like I, when you look at the front area, that's where the most people are going to attack. Not the back. For some reason, it's just more attracted attention. So when they attack from there, all their stuff is going to be annihilated by those traps. If you put yeah, those traps sure. there. Yeah, for sure. I definitely agree with that. Okay, so that wraps up the base number one. We still got five more for you guys. 
Okay, guys, this is our next bait. It is Anthony right here. He's another Town Hall 8. And this is pretty similar to my Town Hall 8 base for you guys that I made. And I, I do like it. I'm still a big fan of it. But one thing I still would change is I would centralize your clan castle because that is really important. I recommend this for all of you guys trying to tweak your base up a little bit. Your clan castle is one of the most important buildings in the game, especially when people are attacking you. These defenses, archers, and just can wreck someone's invasion. So I'd probably try to centralize that a bit more. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like I like how you centralize the resources, obviously. I like how you put the air defense in the middle and the mortar in the middle. That's obviously going to affect it a lot. Um, try moving. Do you see the uh, air defense on the back, on the right side, on that little square area where you have the dark elixir? I would try moving that more centralized where just archers can't go there and just take it out. That's way too easy um, for sure. And obviously, as Landon said, your clan castle, try centralizing it, of course. And on the, uh, over here on the left side, where you have this huge row of just elixir and gold storages, I would try moving it a little, you know, um, I'm not saying that it's a bad thing, I'm saying it's, it's kind of good, I was just trying to move stuff around, just to tweak with it, see what happens, leave it for a day, see who attacks you, if you make more trophies here, if you make more trophies there, whatever it is, you know, so, it's all about experimentation, honestly. But this is this is a good base. I kind of like it. Yeah. It's nice. So I like focus like on it. upgrading your splash defenses again. Your wizard towers and your mortars are always the most important to upgrade first. You got some low wizards right here, and try to upgrade. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, the builders huts. The builders huts. Obviously, you got to move those out of the way. Put them in the corners. Yeah, that's a, that's another really good tip for you guys. I definitely use it. Sarna uses it. If you put the more, if you put the little, excuse me, the builders hut in the corners, if somebody if just randomly just two stars your base, just destroys everything. Sometimes they run out of time before they can get the last corner things. It's happened to me. I know it's happened to Cerna, so it's definitely really, really helpful. If you just put the little builders up in the corner. Before we wrap this up, before we wrap this one up, um, we, I got to give another really quick tip. I noticed this when I was making my base. Actually, if you guys never knew, there is, there is a centered, um, there's like a little diamond in the center in the whole entire map. It's not a diamond. It's like this little thing that centralizes the entire map. Isn't it cool, Anna? Yeah, it's like, really cool. I, I found that out a few days ago. I was just trying to change up my lower level account in my Town Hall 7. And I was like, what is that? It's just a little gold dot in the middle of the base. It's actually really, really useful if you guys want to redesign your bases to find the central point of the map. Because yeah, some people are sure. like too shifted. So yeah, that's just quick like for my base when I'm when I was making my base personally, like I actually counted out every single thing because I know when you put your town hall in the middle, that's the best position it can be in. I don't like swaying my whole entire base into a corner or anything like that. So when I did mine, I actually counted it. But now that there's that little dot, I mean, it makes it so much easier. Yeah, that's I, the best really place to put your town hall. I kind of just threw mine in and got lucky that it didn't hit it in corners. That would have been bad if you had to redo it. But okay, yeah, that wraps up our second base. Four more. Yeah, good base, good base. Okay, guys, so this is our third base that we're doing. Uh, it's by M.C. Monticelli. I don't know, 313. Like three. Okay, whatever, guys. Like cool name, but three one three. the base, okay, um, it's it needs to be revamped a little. Not going to lie, it's just a little cornered. I, I don't really know how to explain it. I would revamp this base, like, it, it, it completely, like you guys. It a little bit to Town Hall 8. So, yeah, uh, my biggest, a little bit my of a rush. tip is do not rush your bases, guys. Because you can get behind, and then you can just get wrecked by every single person. So definitely do not upgrade to Town Hall 9. Definitely spend a lot of time in Town Hall 8. Getting all these defenses up, you just need to focus on all the defenses right here. You have an archer tower outside for no reason. Just upgrade all these defenses, and yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd probably revamp your whole base. I mean, the best thing about this base, honestly, is those triple mortars in the middle. That's triple mortar fire, but still, I know you're doing a farming base, dude, but um, just make it make it like a hybrid base where you can farm and you can also have your town hall in the middle at the same time that's what kind of my base consists of i have a town hall in the middle and my resources in the middle as well it's all good i like it so i mean the, the traps use them usefully obviously yeah, um upgrade your right troops do all that stuff Those and don't don't rush right yeah right there okay so that wraps up our third base let's get on to the fourth one so this is our fourth base that we're doing it's by scalar oh yes yeah, scalar <laughs> So, we have the town hall right there. Obviously, the town hall is one of the most important things in the game. Uh, after the resource, or before the resources, but uh, the resources are in the middle. The resource holders are in the middle right now. That's a good thing. You obviously need to upgrade those wizard towers for sure. I like the air defense positioning. That's that's the main thing. But the, another thing for this base, don't rush. That's the main thing that we got to say. Don't rush the town hall level eight when you don't have good walls. When you don't have things to support it, you need all the defenses to be up to a certain point when you're at Town Hall 8. Don't even consider upgrading to Town Hall Level 9 right now at all, because that's not your 
objective. You need to upgrade everything to max level. That's what I like to do. Yeah, upgrade sure. everything to max level before you actually upgrade to the next tier. So, yeah, that definitely definitely agree with that. Do not rush your base. I honestly, I kind of rushed the town hall ten. Not not incredibly bad, but a little bit. And just the loot boat, the loot penalty. It is so bad. You guys, a lot of you guys don't know that if you rush town halls, the higher town hall level you get, the less loot you get from the lower town hall levels. So, and it really makes a huge difference. So on my on my main account, I can only really invade Town Hall 9s and 10s, a few 8s, and I used to just eat 8s all the time up. So it, it's really difficult to rush Town Halls. So definitely focus on these walls. These wizards, of course, are really need to be up. Don't spend as much time in your Archer Towers and Cannons. They look like they're fine. So definitely work on your walls and your major splash defenses. But yeah. Yeah, for sure. The Cannon position, uh, it, no, the Mortar position, excuse me, is a really good... Um, I like how you know it's really spread out. You got radius in all single directions. So whenever an archer comes or anything, that can or that mortar is probably going to take it out. Um, the Teslas are well positioned. I, I don't think they would c clearly expect it, but they might. Okay. And one thing I like about the mortars, I was about to say this that they're really vulnerable. But then again, you got all your uh, little barracks right here, and then you got the stuff on the outs uh, on the other side. So your mortars are pretty protected. Not going to lie about that. Um, in terms of the other air defense that you got going over here, I would for sure move that to another position, somewhere where it's not vulnerable at all, and somewhere where I would actually, you know, I said air defenses are in a good position, but I would actually completely uh, adjust every single air defense that you have on this base so you can equally position. That's the whole thing. Like, equally position the radiuses so that it covers the whole entire map. Yeah, that's what I got to say. That's really important. So no matter where he drops an air unit, it's going to take damage. That is really, really important. And again, make sure you don't... E Use, use your traps badly because these traps are just wasted and traps can be extremely effective it can mean the difference from a win and a loss especially if you're dealing with like a big giant strategy and the trap just throws up like 10 or 15 that's just automatically a win basically so these traps are just wasted again a lot of times people invade from the bottom right here so put some traps over here or maybe in your, spread your resources out a little bit so in case somebody just raids with a bunch of goblins they get tossed up but yeah definitely work on that and make sure guys don't rush town halls yeah, for sure. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, guys, this is our fifth paper we're reviewing. It is Zaka. It is a pretty upgraded Town Hall 8 base. It looks pretty good, honestly. I do like it, but there are a few things I would tweak up, definitely. Especially this air defense just out there for free. I would eat that up and just take the other two and just drop my balloons and dragons and just take all those resources. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, for sure. Guys, I mean, you, you need to put your builder huts on the outside, obviously. And... Where that other air defense, you see that over there. When you see those two archer towers right next to it that are positioned in the same exact box, yeah, that's not um, good. yeah, I don't like to put two like archer towers or anything like cannons or archer towers like super close to each other. So I would, you know, as I said, radius is dude. Yeah, see that at the bottom too. They're squished yeah. together, an archer tower and a cannon right there. You definitely want to spread all your defenses out. I do like that the clan castle is centralized. That does make a big difference. Really good like that. And he didn't rush the space, which is really good because his. His archer towers and cannons are upgraded, but again, need to focus on wizards. Definitely upgrade those. Those are really, really yeah, important. Yeah, complete your mission of like maxing out the base. So do yeah, that. Definitely, I'd max this out. I'd upgrade a little bit more than consider going to town hall nine. But definitely, this is not a bad base at all. He has a little funnel with a trap down there. That's always really good. I like those a lot. So yeah, I like. Yeah, so overall, it looks like a nice base. I like it. I like it. We're spreading it out, and I'd probably move this storage down here. This is kind of free, free picking. Oh yeah. Also, um, I don't know about that Tesla on the top. Uh, if you consider moving it, you see the bomb next to the air defense, level three air defense over there. Is that, I think that's level three. Yeah, level three air defense next to the wizard tower. That stuff over there. All right, move the Tesla if you want to to make it kind of symmetrical to the other side in place of that giant bomb. Um, I don't know. It might have an effect on your base, but the giant bomb you can move in place of the Tesla. You know, so yeah, yeah. it's up to you. But. That's a good idea, kind of. Okay, I like this base. Okay, so now we got our last one to go. So the sixth and last and final base, we got here Billy's awesome Town Hall Level 8 base. Um, it's almost awesome, but you can improve a lot of stuff on it. Trust me, you can improve so much on this, dude. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's almost awesome, but... It's almost awesome, but you can still improve a lot. Okay, I'm not going to lie. You got the Builder's Huts need to be repositioned in the corners for sure. You got your um, traps over here. You need to find a really effective way, a strategic way, to put them around the base so you can um, actually take stuff out because it's just, I don't think it's really effective putting those, it here. Those, to be honest those with spring you. traps are just wasted right there. A lot of yeah, and the bombs. I mean, the bombs not, yeah, but spring traps more. Yeah. The spring traps are just, just not a good spot. 
And definitely yeah. focus on upgrading your defensive units again. I know I've said this a thousand times by now, but wizard towers are very, very important. Got a level one run there, two level threes, but definitely want to focus on yeah, upgrading. Yeah, splash damage them. does a lot, guys. Yeah. yeah, splash damage is huge, especially at lower levels. Actually, at all levels, splash damage is probably the most important thing to upgrade. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna say this. Like in terms of your resource storages, um, for sure, guys, symmetrical or not symmetrical, I would still recommend you guys to always put it in the middle. Um, you know, just yeah, there's some on good. the outskirts of this base that can easily be taken out by archers, especially that elixir and the gold on the two on the right and left on the yeah. back. Yeah, so make sure you fix that for sure. And the air defense over here, it's really exposed. That's easy to take out. Uh, but the other two are pretty good. So reposition those for sure. Put it on different sides. Uh, play around with it a little. Yeah, I got, uh, a, I got a few more things to add. One thing that's really important is, again, centralize that clan castle because it's a person just going to drop some troops right here and the clan castle troops will just run out, meaning they barely do anything. But if they're in right here or something, switch that out, then once the base gets really deep, the archers are going to come out and just tear those invading troops up. And again, these stacked walls really aren't going to do much. Because that's really just two wall breakers, two level fives. Break that, and then break that too. So it's going to be, you're going to want to spread those walls out. Yeah, Landon, those are some really good thoughts. And Billy, I think if you use those thoughts, then it will be a really good benefit for you and your base in total. Um, everybody else, you know, we had some great thoughts about those. I think we collaborated a little bit, and we gave you some of our ideas. So if you guys want to use those, um, be free to, and happy to use those suggestions. You don't have to, but I think, and I think Landon thinks. Do you think it will benefit their bases, yeah, Landon? Yeah, sure. These, yeah. They really help all bases, like centralized clan castle, focus slash defenses. Those apply to every base, no matter what level you are. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to show it some love by smacking that like button and favoriting it as well. It helps us more than you guys think. So really hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to post your base to our Facebook, Twitter. Links are in the description, guys. Follow us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. Uh, that's how you guys are going to get into the subscriber base review, and we're going to choose you guys, um, who you guys are going to, you know, be for the subscriber base reviews. Yeah, basically. So hope you guys enjoy. See you all later. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. Bye.